not sure where to go, or what to see. Then, let's explore. Bangkok. Keep watching and we'll show you, the top self-guided day plan so that you can see the best attractions, at your own pace, for free. We'll also show you the best time to travel here. Save time and money by rolling with Tour Bird Buddy. We do all the hard work for you. To explore more cities, be sure to subscribe. Awesome. Let's roll. This tour is best, if you only have a day. You'll need about 8 hours to enjoy this. Our checkout. 48 hours in the old city, day 1. You'll need about 8 hours to enjoy this. Our checkout. 48 hours in the old city, day 2. Not so long, we recommend 5 hours for this tour. Our checkout. Beyond the old city. Not so long, we recommend 5 hours for this tour. The next day plan is. Bangkok markets. You'll need about 8 hours to enjoy this. Another tour is. Old Bangkok's Buddhist temples. Not so long, we recommend 5 hours for this tour. Maybe you'd rather. Kid-friendly attractions. About 7 hours is ideal for this tour. Let's look at, if you only have a day. A busy day spent exploring must-see attractions, including Wat Arun, Grand Palace, and Wat Phraq. Monumental Buddhist temple right on the river, with an iconic, ornately tiled central prank, spire. Move on to Grand Palace. Built in 1782, this ornate royal palace complex now houses a museum and is open to visitors. Then on to Wat Phraq. On the grounds of the Grand Palace, this sacred temple is renowned for its reclining emerald Buddha. And then Ratanakasan Island. Ratanakasan Island, also called Ratanakasan or Old Town, is home to the ornate Grand Palace and a sprawling temple complex called Wat Phu, known for its huge reclining Buddha. Then on to Khao San Road. Urban area known as resting place for backpackers, with various types of lodging, plus shops and bars. Next to Chattachak Weekend Market. Massive market with over 15,000 stalls offering an eclectic variety of goods, from antiques to pets. Let's look at, 48 hours in the old city, day 1. A day full of the old city's top sites, from Buddhist temples to an amulet market. Ancient Buddhist temple on a steep artificial hill topped with a gold chedi, plus sweeping views. And then Bangkok National Museum. The National Museums of Thailand are operated by the Fine Arts Department of the Ministry of Culture, and are responsible for the safeguarding of state-owned historical and cultural artifacts. Move on to Grand Palace. Built in 1782, this ornate royal palace complex now houses a museum and is open to visitors. Then on to Amulet Market. Bustling Handicrafts Bazaar selling Buddhist amulets, totems, coins and good luck charms. Next to Wat Arun. Monumental Buddhist temple right on the river, with an iconic, ornately tiled central prank, spire. Move on to Wat Phu. Large landmark temple offering serene grounds with a giant reclining Buddha, historic art and statues. Then on to the next attraction.
let's look at 48 hours in the old city, day 2. Another jam-packed day exploring museums, temples and other popular sites around the old city. Hangar Museum housing some of the elaborately carved ceremonial barges used in royal processions. Then move to Ratanakusan Exhibition Hall. Decorative museum with multimedia exhibits on the Ratanakusan era, plus a coffee shop and a library. Then on to the next attraction. Then move to Wat Benchamabofit. Ornate temple constructed of white Italian marble and featuring a mix of European and Thai design. Next to Ananda Samakam Throne Hall. Monumental Italianate building and former throne room with a museum exhibiting Thai arts and crafts. Let's look at Beyond the Old City. A day exploring the top sites beyond the old city, from a snake farm to a Hindu shrine. Former royal residence containing eight houses, tropical gardens and ponds, plus art and antiques. Move on to James H. W. Thompson Foundation. Thai-style teak house by American entrepreneur Jim Thompson offering guided tours in many languages. Then on to Bangkok Folk Museum. Compact museum focused primarily on two reconstructed houses from the early 20th century. Then move to King Rama VI Monument. Historic 1942 statue of King Rama VI built to commemorate the opening of surrounding Lumpini Park. And then Erawan Shrine. Hindu shrine featuring a gilded statue of the god Brahma and often the site of rituals and dances. Let's look at Bangkok Markets. A day visiting Bangkok's top bazaars, including floating and night markets, plus a weekend only stop. Small floating market offering produce and seafood, including prepared food, with tables on the piers. Next to Chattachak Weekend Market. Massive market with over 15,000 stalls offering an eclectic variety of goods, from antiques to pets. Then move to Pratnam Market. Bustling market lined with stalls offering clothing, shoes, accessories and street food. Next stop Patpong Night Market. Busy night bazaar with many stalls hawking gifts, souvenirs, clothing and street food. Next stop Rod FAI Night Market Srinakaran. Bustling outdoor night market specializing in antiques and vintage memorabilia, plus bars and eateries. Let's look at Old Bangkok's Buddhist temples. A jam-packed day visiting Buddhist temples in and near Bangkok's old city. This historic temple features a gilded exterior, exhibitions and a massive golden statue of Buddha. Move on to Wat Saket. Ancient Buddhist temple on a steep artificial hill topped with a gold chedi, plus sweeping views. Next stop Loha Prasert.
Buddhist temple complex, home to Aloha Prasat known as the Metal Castle for its 37 iron spires. Next to Wat Ratchabofit. Ornate 19th century Buddhist temple with a colorful tiled exterior and a cemetery for Thai royalty. Then move to Wat Mahat at Uwaratransarat. This ancient royal Buddhist temple with a reliquary is home to a university and meditation center. Let's look at kid friendly attractions. A day of child friendly attractions, including a play park and an aquarium. Museum, workshop, and store featuring a collection of handcrafted dolls in traditional Thai costumes. Next to Kidzania, Bangkok. Educational play center offering a replica of city where children pretend to work and earn money. Next stop see Live Bangkok Ocean World. Spacious aquarium offers hundreds of marine species on display, 4D films and underwater experiences. The most popular travel time in Bangkok is August. The temperature ranges from 33 to 25 degrees Celsius. Yearly events. LOI Kratong is in November. Songkran Thai New Year is in April. Check the video description below for weather tips, more events and links to rewatch a day plan. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe so that you always go the best way for the best day. Oh, and help planning your trip. Check the links in the video description below.